In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 192 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solve the equation cos square Y equals 0, 0,25 for theta bigger than equal to 0, smaller than equal to 360. Stop. As soon as you see this interval, and you see it's in degrees, before you go further, first put your calculator or set your calculator to degree mode. So my calculator, I press mode, mode, and then one, before you continue, because now the answers must be in degrees. Right, let's make it bigger. Right, now my calculator is on degrees. So if I if I say cos square y is zero, meaning it's it's square. So I must I must get rid of that square by taking the square root on the other side. But the square root will always have a positive and a negative option. So um, plus minus zero point five after I work it out. So there are two equations to solve. There's the positive one as well as the negative one. So it's actually the whole cos diagram. So the cosine function is positive in quadrant 1 and 4 and negative in quadrant 2 and 3. So you will find an angle in all four quadrants. Work out the basic angle using your calculator. Okay, and I get 60. And then I just work 60, uh, 180 minus 60, 180 plus 60, 360 minus 60, and there is all four my answers. Not difficult, but you must just know you don't work with that square, you take the square root of the ratio. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's read it first. Solve the equation, and there is the equation. Oh, but look, this is not in degrees, this is in radians. So as soon as you see radians, stop. And first put your calculator on radians. So set it to radians. So mode, mode, according to my calculator, and then two. But check yours. And another catch out. This is not two pi. This is only one pi. So that means that there is pi. That part is blocked out. Okay, so all that, keep that in mind. And now you can start. And now I say, okay, cosec square y is equal to 8 over 7. Okay, now let's first do the swap. So, third letter, so it's sin square, I still sit with the square, but it's 7 over 8. I swap it around. Now, I have sin y plus minus the square root of 7 over 8. Okay, now I can start with my sketch. So, look here. And now, because, don't forget, don't forget that this part is blocked out. Okay. So, sin is, let's start with the positive. It will actually then be only the positive because the negative is blocked out. Sin. If you think of your past diagram. Okay. So, basically, basically, I'm just going to be here, the positive. So the negative is actually blocked out, but it just doesn't change anything. First, I'm going to find my basic angle. Now, if I press on my calculator, so press second function or shift, sin, and then I think you must first press the square root and then bracket, 7 divide 8, close the bracket equals, and then four significant figures, so it's 1.209 radians. And now that is my angle. But I'm interested in this, which is the same, and this. And don't forget this is pi. So then I'm just going to say to find y, I'm going to have 1.2, three significant figures, one radians, uh, or the other one, y is equal to pi minus this basic 
9 gradients and that is going to give me 1.92 gradients and that's all. So don't be catch out by your calculator not putting it on gradients or by looking at the interval and assuming it's always 2 pi. If you see pi it's actually meaning 0 to 180 so that part is blocked up.